Tell me, darling, uh, how long does it take to sober up a grown man these days? What, what makes you think that Dusty was drunk? I wasn't born yesterday. Well, he got a letter from Lucy, and uh, she told him goodbye. And I guess it hit him a little harder than he thought it would. Oh. But he still managed to come up with an equitable solution. <laughs> he's not, he's not a bad guy. So, uh, maybe you'll forgive this, uh, you know, sort of unfortunate lapse that... Well, Dusty's got to discipline himself. He's got to learn that there's, there's no room for heartbreak in big business. <laughs> Save it for the weekends. So could you tell or what? That you were eight sheets to the wind? No, not a clue. You and I are never, ever going to play poker because you couldn't lie if your life depended on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say that Julia is trouble? Are you completely forgetting that you started this whole nightmare for her? No. She was doing fine in St. Genevieve until you showed I was brought to a up. hospital and treated for head injuries, Holden. She took care of me. Yeah, and a few weeks later, you talked her into marriage. Oh, it didn't take that much convincing. You had to know that she was afraid of losing you to your other life. Holden, I don't even know what my other life was. And when she found out about it, she didn't tell me. She did her level best to keep me from knowing about Carly and Parker and Sage. And now she's doing the same exact thing with you and your family. Lily and I were over a long time before Julia showed up. You know, you keep saying that. But you and Lily, you, you've been through bad times before. And you've taken a lot, Holden. You've been through hell. I haven't forgotten that. But the fact that you had forgiveness in your heart is because your love runs so deep. It's a, that kind of love, it doesn't come along every day, and it lasts forever. Do you feel anything like that for Julia? Man, if you can't come up with an answer in a heartbeat, you are making a mistake. Don't do this. Don't throw away a life and a marriage and a family for something you can't even define. Talk about a mistake. It was a mistake asking you for help. I'll find my son on my own. Holden. Come on. No, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't go back in there. Forget it. Forget it. We have to make sure she's okay. You think Keith went inside? Well, let's hope so. Let's hope he's already taken her to the hospital. Okay? Okay, okay, let's do it. She's gone. She was right there, in front of the coffee table. Maybe Keith to take it away. Oh, my God. She was in front of the coffee table when I left. She must have found the strength to crawl toward the door. And then she passed out. Julia. Julia. Can you hear me? She was probably going towards the door because she heard Keith. This is, this is a good thing we came back because we have to call 911. We have to tell them that she's unconscious. She's not unconscious, Lily. She's dead. No, 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 no. This is not possible because she was alive. Carly, I'm telling you, when I left her, she was absolutely alive. I thought she was going to call out and, and Keith was going to hear her and come help her. He was supposed to help her. You got to calm time. down, what Lily. Dead? How can I calm down? I've killed this you woman. Did, you didn't kill her. It was an accident. And they will understand that. We will make them understand. I'll make who? We'll make who understand? The police. We gotta call no, the police. No, I can't just talk. Look, I'm a violating a restraining order just by being here, Carly. What am I supposed to tell them? That my son trashed this place and I came back to clean it up? They're not gonna believe that. They're never gonna understand this was an accident. They'll never get it. Jack will believe you. You'll explain everything to him, how it was self-defense. No, 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 no. We no. have to, Lily. They're gonna lock me up. My babies. No. My babies need Nobody me. is gonna take your babies away from you. Hold on, Will. Hold on, Will. He's not gonna forgive me for this. He'll never understand. I can't do this. Please, Carly. We have to do something. I lost everything. My husband, my, my family. I can't lose my babies. Please, Carly. I know I've asked you to do so much already, but please, I'm making you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't call Jack. Please don't call Jack. Please. Okay. All right. All right. I won't call him. 
But if the cops come here and they find Julia like this, they're going to ask a lot of questions. They'll investigate. They'll find fingerprints all over this place. Yours and Luke's both. I know, I know. I know. That's true. What are we going to do? We're going to scrub this place clean. How many times have we heard that song today? But I can sing something else. Uh, anything. No, thank you very much. Uh, we've heard enough. Next. But I've risked everything to come here. I've been waiting in that freezing cold hallway in a bar dress for hours. You can at least listen to the end of the song. You're a sweet girl with a really sweet voice. Please. It you know, I mean, she's a mediocre talent, and the last thing she needs is, is a bunch of false hope. Uh, listen, uh... Uh, Celia, let me just, um, let me save you a lifetime of disappointment, okay? Uh, we're looking for something, um, someone very special with a spark, a, a sizzle, a splash, um, and an unforgettable voice. You, unfortunately, possess none of the above. He lost his sense of humor somewhere around number 300. Well, he had a sense of humor? You know, I'm just telling the girl what no one's had the courage to tell her, right? Go back to Montega, dream a more possible dream, something that you can grasp. <laughs> How'd it go? I want to hear everything. <gasps> Why? They did it. What do you mean? Let's go. I want to get out of here. I should have never come. I never want to sing again. So what can I get for you ladies tonight? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Let's see, uh, I'll have a sex on the beach. And I'll have a French kiss. Do you know how to make one? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll ask the bartender. <laughs> Rafael Ortega. Rafael, introduce yourself. Uh, hola, como estas? Rafael. Uh, um, she's Rachel. Uh, she's Megan. <sighs> Rafael was a big boxing champion in Montana. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, you ladies were just ordering, right? Yeah. Well, Rafael will take great care of you and make sure you bring me the bill. Thanks. <laughs> okay, enjoy, ladies. I've never been to Montega. I hear it's gorgeous. I've never met a real boxer before. <laughs> Tell us everything. Uh, see, just give me one second and be right back with your drinks. Mm. Hey, are these drinks for Rachel and Megan? Yeah. Okay, fine. Thanks. I'll take it from you. Uh, the nice cozy house with the fireplace. Um, well, it's, uh, not as warm as it used to be. Is the parents giving you grief? Yeah, yeah, I had to get out of there. All right, well, well come on inside. You get something, I'll, it's, it's on me. Come inside, you can hang out in my office. Whatever. Aaron. Yeah? We're out of singles. I uh, just, I'll be there in a minute. I'll take care of it. Oh, you better get back inside. Can I interest you in a burger or something? Um, no, thanks. I'm, I'm good. I better get going anyways. There's nothing I can do? Um, just don't tell anybody you saw me here, all right? Good luck with everything. All right. Later. He actually said that to you? He, he hated me. I could tell as soon as I walked in that room. And he didn't even let you finish? I'll never sing again. Which one was it? That one. Casey, what are you doing? Let's just um, Excuse me. I was wondering if I could have your autograph. Oh, <laughs> I'm flattered. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not famous. Uh, not yet. Ah, no, not yet, that is. Um, but see, I can see the future, and you will be very soon, because uh, you're going to be known as the guy that lets Celia Ortega slip through his fingers. you said that I was telling the truth you really meant it you think I'm that talented I didn't drive all the way to Chicago just to hear you sing one to every song on the radio you got a ton of talent Celia 
I don't want you to ever forget that, no matter what anyone says. Um, you stay here, and I will get the car. Mm -hmm. 